God damn it, Steven, get the fuck out of my room! Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Listen. What's up? Henry. That's me. I need to call on a salad. Don't get a cat if you're not gonna feed it. Well, then if it dies, that's on you, Henry. How the fuck is that on me? Because you didn't feed it. All right, that's not what this is about, though. I just, I, I really need a favor right now, and I'm pretty sure you owe me one anyway. Dude, I don't have a car. Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm hanging up now. Uh, feet, Tito, blood on your hands. Let's go. Dude. Hey, listen, I, I need to call on a salad. I need you to come pick me up. You got a whole lot of guys over Todd. Todd, isn't she getting dragged to one of those dumbass art shows that Jess always does? I swear, she's the goddamn... Goddamn what? Worst. Uh, either way, can you guys just come pick me up? Oh, you should probably pick Henry up, too. Do you know he doesn't have a car? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll text you the answer. You saw that, right? I had it. Jamo called me. D don't worry about it, man. Perfection's a... Trivial pursuit, anyway, you know what I mean? What happens when you're done with the game? You, you pack it up and put it away, and then what, never play it again? No, no you heard... take it out, set it up, and try to beat your best time, right? Yeah. All right, let's go pick up Zeke and Henry. And then what? I don't know, go to Wolf's house and get stoned out of our minds, Jonas? Nice in the car for two hours. He's doing us a favor. The least we could do is hang out with him a little bit and s smoke, you know? I'm like, what's my favor for driving you guys? I don't even smoke. Why am I driving you? Because you love us. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You love us and care about us, and we love and care about you too, man. If I do, I don't know why. You're still mad about perfection. Is it really trivial? Big time. Okay, so let's go pick up Zeke and Henry and some drugs you won't smoke, all right? And then you can contemplate the merits of perfection while you wait. All right. So we're at the pool yards, right? The pool yards? Or the bell hall, whichever. Either way, I am kicking old man Flint's ass at nine. Wait, 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 wait. Old man Flynn? This is like 65 years old. That's why they call him old man Flynn. Yeah, and I think he's an alcoholic. He's blind too. He's got that eye patch, man. You're going to brag about being the blind old dude? He's 57. And yeah, sure, he likes to drink as much as the next guy. And just because he has an eye patch doesn't mean he's blind. Either way, I am kicking his ass. Yeah, where else is the story going? Well, it was going to explain why you guys were picking me up, Jonas. Uh, listen, Zeke, I'm sure it's a great story and all, but neither one of us really want to hear this long-winded explanation about how great of a time you had without us. That's what your stupid Snap app is for, man. Why don't you just use that? All right, fine. It was a great story. But at least let me tell you about Japanese handshakes. All right, dude, what's Japanese handshakes? This awesome game I made up. <laughs> Sounds like a dumb game you made up. Huh. It's not. Huh. Let's play. You're slow ass to pick up from Wolf, so, cause like, man, we only got enough for like, two months. My God. Right? All right, Jonas, start driving. I'll make the call. Hey, how long is this gonna take? I have to get ready for my violin lessons. Wait, Jonas, you, you don't play the violin. 
Yeah, because I don't know how. That's why I'm taking lessons, Todd. Oh. So long, guys. Well, uh, he texted Henry about 45 minutes ago saying he'd be ready in 20 minutes. So according to DD time, he should be here any minute. D and D time? Like, he has to roll a 420 to sell you guys pot? He means drug dealer time, dude. DD time? Is that a thing? Do you, do all you guys say that? DD time is common slang amongst the cannabological community, yes. I've never heard anyone but you say it, Zeke. Trust me. It's a thing. It makes you sound kind of dumb, dude. You sound like dumb. Good one, dude. Cannibalogical? Yeah. Read a fucking book sometime. Fuck. I gotta take this, you guys. I'll be back. Oh, uh, Tyler, okay, shut up. Oh, fuck you. It's not even her. Hey, hey, tell her she sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I don't know why he puts up with her, man. Now, Mindy. Mindy, on the other hand. Why'd he ever get rid of her? Hey, Wolf just texted me. He said he'll be ready in, like, ten minutes, but for real this time. I think old Zeke here knows how we can pass the time. No, you don't. We're never playing that game you made up again. What game? I like that game. Well, Hey Jonas, what time did Wolf text me at? Like, 6.01? Impossible. Hey, you got... Did you guys see what that dog did? <laughs> no, what'd it do? Seeing if you saw it. Huh. Alright, this is taking way too long. You guys wanna go get some coffee or something? <laughs> yes. More than anything. Jonas, you want anything, dude? I'm going to stop at McDonald's too if you want anything. Do you want anything? Hey, Jonas, is your clock broke? Alright. I'm going to get you a coffee, dude. I've been in this situation before. Looks to me like you have some tough decisions weighing heavily on your soul. Stay strong, you can't persevere. Yeah, but I don't know if I want a double cheeseburger or a chicken sandwich. I don't I don't think you understand, Abe Lincoln. Ah, uh, yes. I know nothing of making tough decisions in the darkest of hours. What are you trying to say, Abe Lincoln? Take a page out of my metaphorical book. Unite both decisions, one nation, under food. What? As we are new, we must think and act anew. What? Take the fucking cheeseburger, put the fucking chicken on it, and eat the fucking thing. Hallelujah. If they want coffee, they can go somewhere else! How'd it get dark so quick? Because you spent 45 minutes picking up fucking candy. Hey man, when a man is faced with a world of delicious choices, it's tough to decide. Right? Yeah. Now, let's get back to Mindy, though. You remember that time I played a foosball and she took her shirt off and said it was shirts for skins? Quitting time, huh? Sure is. 
Get your coffee. Get the fuck out, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have a cigarette. Cool? Yeah. Cool. Do you, man? Cool. I still can't believe Spencer ended up working here, man. I know. Dude's like one of the main suppliers in town. Spencer the Dispenser, we called him. I know. It was catchy. Right? Bet you this is all probably just a front. And he's slinging from right behind the counter. Yeah, probably. Hey, why don't we just see if we can get it from him and say fuck Wolf? Dude, you can't just say fuck Wolf. Where's your sense of dealer loyalty? Yeah, we go. Dude, the second we say fuck Wolf is the second Wolf gets busted by the Federales. Then he rats us out for buying it from him. Then we've got Shadow Men on our asses Shadow. following us around, fucking wondering who our next dealer is. The whole despicable psycho man starts all over again. That, my friend, is called paranoia. That, my friend, is called the truth. Okay. Do you, do you see this bullshit? What? Kids against taking substances. <laughs> what kind of garbage? More like kids ought to take substances, am I right? Oh, no, man. The use of mind-altering substances, that shit, that shit's got to be saved until one's old enough to have, like, some comprehension of what the world's actually like. Or when you graduate high school. I still don't really understand what this fucked up place is about, and I partake in all kinds of substances. And you're doing just fine. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, ask Spencer if you can hook it up. What the fuck did I just say? Sorry, sir. We're closed. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, here it is. The competition has been eliminated. Ooh, sure, I'm glad we were blowing each other in the bathroom so we didn't see anything really suspicious happen. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 take us as hostages. Oh, we're, we're insanely rich. Think, think of the ransom money. Yeah, wait. What the fuck? <laughs>